if you didn't know, now you know. Now let's get into this video. Uh -huh. Sorry for being distracted. I was just, that's just who I am. I'm very distracted. All right, y'all. Story time. Um. Whoo. This is an old story. Uh, from the title, the story is my worst relationship. Um, I'm not going to use anybody's real names. I'm going to use fake names throughout the whole entire story. Okay, only name that y'all go here is me. And I'm probably not going to be talking to the third person because it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to use fake names the whole entire story. My real friends who are watching this video know the real story, know the real people, already know the deal. So, if you're not ready for the story, then you need to just exit out this door. Here, I unlock it for you. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. I'm just telling you, it gets real. Okay. Okay, you gonna sit in the seat with me, okay? Mm. All right, so my worst relationship. So, uh, I cannot remember the year. 2014, starting 2014. Starting 2014, ending 2015, there we go. So sophomore year, it was sophomore year. Um, it was the beginning of sophomore year, um, like second semester, close to second semester in the first January, yeah, 2014, January, um, I was in my math class and I met this girl named Sasha, met a girl named Sasha, me and Sasha was cool, Sasha used to brag about her boyfriend, Kevin. Sasha and Kevin. Yeah. Uh, Sasha used to brag about her boyfriend, Kevin, all the time. Um, she never showed me a picture of him. But, like, I was just like, why are you always bragging about him? I was single at the time, so I really wasn't really in. Like, I was into, I was, you know, I, was try, I wasn't trying to get my flirt on. Like, but I wasn't trying to get my flirt on <laughs> with people at that time. So I didn't really care. But I'm just like, why are you always talking about him? Like, I was getting annoyed at the fact that she was always talking about him. So, um, one time Kevin popped up at, after school and surprised her, um, at the library across the street from my school. So we was walking and she was like, Nani, Nani. And I was like, what? She was like, he surprised me. This is Kevin. And I was like, oh, this is, this is Kevin. Okay. So I was like, hi, Kevin. I was like, hi. And then I don't know how. If I'm being 100% honest, I got his kick. Y'all remember back when kick was, oh, I spilled my juice a little bit. Anyway, I got his kick. Y'all remember when kick used to be popular? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got, I don't know. I swear I do not remember how I got it. I don't know. But I got his kick and we used to talk on kick. And then we used to flirt. So, Kevin used to flirt with me. Um, got his number. Me and Kevin used to text. Kevin eventually broke up with Sasha. Me and Kevin started dating. <clears throat> okay. Just let that marinate real quick. Y'all have to snatch him up real quick. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, me and me and Kevin started dating for a, a little bit of time. So um, we was dating for a couple of weeks, and then you know, eventually, me and Kevin ended up. Oh, so yeah, me and Kevin was uh, uh, dating for a couple of weeks, and then we ended up, you know, getting romantic with one another, and. They kept ended up breaking up with me. And I was hurt. 
I was heartbroken. I was like, what the fuck? Like, really, Kevin? <sighs> Kevin. Um. Sorry, y'all. I'm just reminiscing. It's just, it's just, it's just like I'm over it. But it's just like, dang, bro. Like, dang. That was the first time that's ever happened to me, and the only time that's ever happened to me. So, dang, Kevin. Like, dang. Oh my, wow. Um. So anyway, so me and Kevin broke up. Found out I was pregnant. Tell y'all, it gets real. You can leave now. A, you want me to open the door? Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep the the bottom locked. That way, it'll be easier for me to open the door if it gets too real for y'all. Okay. Um, that way, it just like bam. bam you know? I didn't do it, but you get the you get the gesture. Anyway, so yeah, I ain't gonna get him pregnant, but Kevin. Um. Uh. I told Kevin like, okay, so two weeks after, two weeks after the breakup, that's when I found out. Two, three weeks after the breakup was when I found out. I missed out of Kevin, and then we ended up getting back together. Of course, uh, a lot of stuff was going on back home with the situation and at school and sports with the situation. So I ended up having a miscarriage. Me and Kevin ended up staying together for a little bit, and then we ended up breaking up. And then during the whole entire summer, me and Kevin was not talking at all. I did not. I don't know why we wasn't talking at all. For me, 100%. I do not know why. We just wasn't talking. So then I hit him up. And I found out he was going through something. So I was like, hey, um, hope everything's okay. You know, I'm here for you if you need me. Like, you know, you know, we went through some stuff in the past. Like, you know, I'm still here for you. Like, no, that's just the type of person I am. It's like, forget the past. Let's, let's worry about now and the future. And then he was just like, where was you? When I need you? And all this other stuff. I just going off on me. I'm just like, yo, chill, 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 chill. Because uh, I kind of need you too. And you wasn't there for me either. So, but I'm not going off on you. I'm trying to be here for you. Okay, Kevin. <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah. So he went off on me and, and everything. And then we just we ended up getting back together around like October ish in twenty. 14. Sorry, y'all. Kind of forgot. Yeah, we ended up getting back together um, in 20, October in 2014. I do remember that. Sorry. And then, um, and then like, we was we was on from there. We, we did not break up after that. And then, um, I kind of, um, I kind of, I kind of, was living my life. La Vida Loca. And then, um, I think in January, it was um, our year anniversary. Even though we was off and on and kind of had that three month break, because I'm telling y'all it was a whole entire summer, we still considered ourselves to be together for a whole entire year because of the connection and the love and the bond and what we all went through and all that BS Kevin was talking about. Um, so we ended up getting matching tattoos. I will put a picture somewhere on the screen. I don't know where. We end up getting matching tattoos. I got queen. He got king. Sorry. Um, and then a couple weeks later. Oh, y'all. We would have been some. We would have been. Five, we would have been five years if he didn't mess up. Oh, my God. This, this is the time. This is the right of time. This January is around the time. Wow. <clears throat> we went five years here. I don't even think we, I don't know. Anyway, let me not, let me not. That's, that is out the door. See, look, it's, it was so out the freaking door that it would even want to freaking close. That mess was like, no, let me, and no, it's a freaking door. Um, a couple but, weeks later, just a couple weeks, like not a month, not two months, not months later, just literally a couple weeks later, maybe even days for all I know. <sighs> but I found out a couple weeks later, um, he was cheating on me. It made no sense because like I never cheated on him. I never did anything 
to him to show him like you know my this like show him i wasn't loyal show i wasn't faithful like show him like you know i wasn't there for him like i never i i i did everything i even paid i paid for tattoos i i did everything i could possibly to like you know if i want to i'm gonna try to keep you i'm gonna do everything i can to try to keep you that's just the type of person i am but um yeah so he posted a, him and a girl on Instagram and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did okay so um, I'm gonna screen record my Instagram okay I'm gonna screen record my Instagram And I'm literally just going to I'm literally just going to um, show you exactly what I did. So I was scrolling and I was like this and I was just going like this and everything and then like I was just like oh wait a minute who is that and then I read the caption <clears throat> I'm gonna stop it right here. I read the caption, and the caption said, She's the only one I need. And he was wearing my hat that I let him borrow that he never gave back, and it ended up getting it stolen. Sorry for the person who's sorry for Kevin who's watching this, but this is the truth. You already know the deal. You already know I gotta talk about it. But, uh, yeah, he ended up posting her, and I was just like, whoa. So I hit him up, and then he tried to, like, throw some stuff on me. And he was like, well, if I was a faithful boyfriend to Sasha, we would never even be in this predicament. And I was just like, oh, how is that my fault that you wasn't faithful to your girlfriend? Huh? What? Okay. But um, <laughs> but um, yeah. So we ended up breaking up, and after that, we just really we we lost contact. I think probably twenty. Oh yes, most definitely. Twenty seventeen. Two years later, after we broke up in twenty, we broke up twenty fifteen. Twenty seventeen. Two years later, we he hit me up. We was talking friendly because I was in a relationship. At this time, we was talking friendly, and then he hits me and tells me that he wants me back. I didn't know how to respond. I didn't know that. We kind of lost connection. We gained connection back again recently, and I'm thinking, like, hey, we're going to be friends. Because I'm the type of person, like, if we break up, and I understand it was a bad breakup, but it was in the past. Like, kind of like, just let it go. Like, we did kind of have, like, a cool friendship at first. Like, if we had a friendship before we got into a relationship, and it was a really cool friendship, and we did not have a bad breakup. I'm the type of person like, yo, let's just throw that in the past. Who's a really cool friend? Like, let's still have that friendship if that's what you want. So I'm thinking that's what he wants. He wants that friendship. <laughs> Hangs out with this person next to you. No, he wants you back. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't know how to respond to that. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I went through so much in that relationship. It was like breaking up with somebody to be with me and I'm your I'm her friend like I did that honestly I didn't care because we wasn't like close friends like I didn't grow up with you type friend like I just met you in high school type friend like I really didn't care but it was just like it created so much drama at school for me it was just like bro and they're gonna break on me and that just proved them right like they said that you was gonna break up with me like it, it caused me so much pain like I went through so much with him like I really lost a lot of friends because of him because I really thought I was in love. Matching tattoos, like. <sighs> miscarriage, like. So much was just that one person. And I really thought I was gonna be with that person forever. Like, it would be different if we went through all of that and we're still together now. Then it would be like, okay, yeah, like we went through all that and you're still mine, like. Or we went through like all that and we lasted a little bit longer. Like we lasted three years. Right? Then I'll be different. Totally different. But no. No. But yeah.
but yeah that was my worst relationship and um <clears throat> i'm gonna have to so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on my worst relationship i'm sorry that this is my first story time but um there'll be better ones I have many 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 stories to tell trust i do uh so uh, it's your girl Nani, like I said before, if you didn't know, now you know, and this is the end of my video.